Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about how to parameterize a test case in test sigma. So as part of no code automation, we are talking about test sigma, right? So in our previous videos, we have seen that what is test sigma, what are the features available, and how to capture a test case with manual test uh, manual steps and with recorded option, right? So in this video, we will see how to parameterize the test case with multiple sets of data. So I'll go to the dashboard of, I just logged in. So this is my dashboard. So now, if you want to parameterize your test case, you need to create test data profile. So in the plus symbol, if you hover on this, where you create test case, right? The same way, you need to, uh, you need to click on this test data profile, profile option. Okay, test data profile option. So just click on this. You see, you need to create. I say credentials, something like that. And here, set name. So I'll, I'll, I'll use valid data, otherwise valid credentials. And uh, what is that? Field. Field is, I can tell, username. And what is that username? Admin at the rate automation testing dot in. This is my username. I can add how many columns I want. You just click on this symbol and next column. So this is password. And the password is admin1234. Right. So now I can add one more. So invalid credentials. Okay. And I need to select something email at the rate gmail.com. Okay. Some dummy email and dummy password, just password, something like that. So I have two sets of data. I want to execute my login test case with two times with this data. First time, this first set of valid credentials, second time invalid credentials. Okay. So I'll just create this uh, test data profile, create. Okay. So here you have credentials profile. If you go back, you see that credentials. If you click on this, you see valid credentials, invalid credentials. What is that username and password, all these things. So now we'll create a test case. Okay. So parameterize login test case, something like that. Any name you can give valid name. So I've given, so go to show advanced options now. Okay. Show advanced options. Here you see test data profile. So which test data profile you want to select? Means use. So you need to select that. Click on uh, all the created uh, test data profiles will be shown here. Now I have only one that you just created. So you can select that credentials. Okay. So, and then which one you want to take? Test data set, valid credentials or invalid credentials? So I want to execute multiple times. So this is called data driven testing, right? So you have on a switch here, data driven, just switch on this. And then filter type, you need to iterate between from and end. So which row to which row, something like that. So I want to execute start to end. Okay, if you have n number of rows, it means n number of options, you can filter that also. But I want to execute from start to end. I have only two, right? So then write the test case manually. Okay, write test manually. So the same thing. So I want to go to this URL. So here, I'll paste navigate to this website and uh, enter test data in element field. But here you see, here test data. Test data previously we have typed something like that. But I don't want to do that now, okay? You have plain text, you see parameter option, right? You just click on this parameter option the moment you click on parameter, so it will give you the profile. So test data profile, only one we have. So which one you want to take? This is username column, right? So username and element. We already captured in our previous videos. So what is that in the login screen? That is username text box, just select, okay? And create. And again, I can create the same thing. So I have an object repository, 
all the elements captured elements are available so the same thing test data profile you just select a parameter and here it will show the parameters uh, screen so what is that password so what is that element in the login screen password text box in the password text box i want to enter this so i'm parameterizing these text boxes user name password and then i will click on element so what is that element we already captured login button right create so that's it i'll just navigate to there i'll enter username and password and click on login button so one is valid credentials another one is invalid credentials so here the username will be taken from the test data profile and username text box will be taken from this already captured elements okay, i'll just click on run now and see again you, you need to mention where you want to execute okay same configuration google chrome windows 11 107 browser version and this is the resolution just run now so this time it will execute the same test cases two times so just observe here you will get one more option here uh, before uh, below this uh, what is a pie chart something like that you see that valid credentials it is using valid credentials and it is executing these four steps okay that is passed okay that is passed. You see, invalid credentials, it failed. Okay, if you select invalid credentials, it failed. So total two runs, two pass, two failed. The total two, one pass, one failed. 50% is my pass percentage. So what is the reason behind that? You see the screenshot? The password should contain at least eight characters containing uppercase, lowercase, all these things. but I have just given a random number, a random password. Okay, so because of that, what happened? It failed. So this is how you can parameterize your test case and you can execute the same step with multiple sets of data. For that, what you need to do? You need to cre create a test data profile. So I have already created one with these sets of data. Okay, you can edit, you can delete whatever you want, you can do. You can create multiple test data profiles. You can use wherever you want with proper information. Okay. So that's all about how to parameterize a test case in Test Sigma. Very simple. Okay. So that's all in this video. Please like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.